welcome back to my channel guys finally all the borders are open and uh, I had the chance to meet once again with Frank say hello Frank hello my dear so finally we are here uh, at the mining complex as I promised and let's go into this dark place so we are finally here at the entrance Let's the adventure begins. Oh well, rust rules this place. We will have to pay attention where we'll put our feet on. You know, that tiny little voice you have in your head that says, Alex, don't go in that direction. Uh, I have never listened to it. Uh. Look at this. There is rust everywhere. We won't stay here so much, but we wanted to show you the place and how rotten is. That passage was way too dangerous. All the floor was made by wood. We didn't trust to walk on it in order to reach the upper level. So we had to find another way.
Simon some stairs and a couple of walkways were quite unstable. We had to improvise in order to reach the upper level of the complex. Improvise, adapt and overcome. That's the main rule of this game. So there we sit, balancing on this steel I been for an eternity. That was the last stairway in order to reach the exit from the second level. I think there's beauty in this desolation, where the planet Earth moves slowly to regain its supremacy against the noisy mechanical clutter of the human species. This mining complex was built during the 1500 and I'm sure it was way different than what it looks like today since concrete was invented after the 1800. Unfortunately, I didn't find any useful document that would help me to understand the evolution of this mining complex. Let's keep exploring this power plant that gave energy to the entire complex. Like every abandoned place Frank and myself have been through, all the precious material that can be sold on the market, such as copper, has been taken away, leaving just some empty carcasses made of steel and rust. It's better to move to another section, there's still a lot to explore. Do you have abandoned complexes like this nearby where you live? Please let me know in the comment. Frank noticed a dear friend waiting for us. Do you guys know something more about this arachnid? Let me know, I'm pretty curious. This tunnel was leading us deep into Mother Earth and we didn't know if there was an end to it but the curiosity was too strong to go back. Unfortunately, we couldn't been able to keep going forward because the tunnel's roof was collapsed. Luckily, there was a junction on the left that brought us to an exit.
finally came out from one of the first tunnels that we found. I'm not sure how many there are. So, but it's pretty dangerous. So we will keep wandering around the, the complex and then we will be, we will go to, to the mountains. Thirty seconds later, we found another entry point and we had to get in. I don't know if we should call it stupidity or we just have a strong sense of wonder that leads us into these adventures. I don't know. What do you think? But trust me, it always pays in the end. So let's try to move on. Oli <laughs> Everything is rotten. Oh, it's getting deeper. One second. Oh, here there's only rock. It's a little bit safer. There are there are tracks from other people that came here. Ooh. Are you kidding? Sorry guys for the shaky footage. Uh, the gimbal wasn't the best choice for this kind of, of places. There's another hole up there. It's impossible to reach that place, unfortunately. Those little vertical ladders are pretty unstable. So no way, we will go back. And this small building looks like a kind of kitchen for the people that were working here. Wow, that was a tough job. So let's move out. Or are strong emotions. This mining complex has been built in the middle of the valley and there's a road that goes back and forth to a mountain pass. In the meantime we found a very whole tunnel but as you can see it was very very dangerous.
When we were approaching to the fifth tunnel, we've noticed the cool muddy ground with an interesting look. It seems that water often runs on it, shaping its surface. It also means that we had to pay attention and keep our eyes peeled because these are definitely unpredictable environments. This was the last tunnel we found. After that, we moved towards a small group of buildings that were located on the other side of the road that I mentioned earlier. I think those buildings were used as a office. Maybe it's where the administration of the mining complex were located. I often think about all those people that worked in those places and based their life and the life of their families on those places. And now it's just a huge, decadent, dark cemetery that we barely comprehend. But it's that history behind those places that make them so fascinating. Do you agree with it? Let me know in the comment. We are at the end of the video. I left some pictures that were taken during the exploration. I truly hope you will enjoy it. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you again for your support. See you in the next video. Take care. By the way, never lose your sense of wonder. It's what makes our life spicy and worth living. <laughs>